Okay, today is August the 5th, 2016. Right now at 10.40 p.m. in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of uh, 76 degrees. Oh, pardon me, no, 69 degrees. The relative humidity is 76%. The barometer is 29.92 inches, and we have a dew point of 59.3 degrees. Today was uh, sunny all day. Uh, clear skies, uh, hazy sun, uh, but still no clouds, no chemtrails that, that I could see from the uh, foothill areas and, and around the uh, L.A. basin. Uh, that doesn't mean there wasn't chemtrails elsewhere uh, to the east. Um, the people that live out east, uh, you know, Big Bear area, Wrightwood, appreciate, we, we appreciate your uh, reporting and everybody's updates from everywhere around uh, the area, north and south, east and west. Okay, so we have uh, the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop right here, and we can see that we have an upper level low pressure up here spinning. This is stationary for now. We also have some very strange activity right here. This looks to me like we have a transmitter that is uh, bulldozing a path right here, clearing a path sort of to the uh, northeast, and uh, that will maintain uh, dry conditions in the in, you know in California. And it will uh, also, uh, we're, we're building in high pressure here. It looks like we've had warmer temperatures the last couple of days. Now, uh, right here we have, um, this is Yvette, Tropical Storm Yvette, right down here. This is being hit with a microwave. We can see a blast pattern right along that uh, entire edge, the outer edge there, the north side of that storm. Actually, all the way around, we can see a blast pattern. Here we have the uh, remnants of Howard, which is still being uh, blown apart. We can still see that this storm, this little area right here, is still being hit by microwave, and there's a blast pattern, which is fairly evident right there. Okay, and then we have uh, Earl, which has uh, moved through uh, Mexico, southern Mexico, and actually spilled out into the uh, Eastern East Pacific, right there on the far right side of the screen. So we'll take a look at that. Also, we have what looks like a right angle forming right here. We have a very strange uh, situation going on here with a transmitter, which is uh, creating a blockade, this right angle blockade, and that will prevent this jet stream flow right here, moving past the Aleutian Islands, uh, from uh, moving down and merging with, we've got a a counterclockwise spinning low pressure system right here and also right here there's something trying to spin counterclockwise this has a transmitter on it we can see that a dark area right there that is descending air right on top of that uh, core and so we have a very strange uh, sort of a right angle i'll get my envelope here and we can just lay this right on top of the uh of the area here we can see that as we move this uh envelope into the contour it's fairly uh fairly square and then also on the other side of this channel of of, of high pressure let's take a look at this in the uh northeast pacific uh, rainbow loop we can see a little bit better what's going on we can see the uh channel of uh, of, of dry air of high pressure that's been installed here to maintain separation between this uh, developing low pressure system and this jet stream which is trying to dive down and is being blocked right here so we've got a transmitter that has uh, created a channel right there it's very obvious and uh, we can see that right about here we can just stop this and let that right angle form right right there that's the last frame Okay, so that is fairly evident. Just let that roll. So this is a man-made manipulation right here. This is a very good example of what's occurring all year long. We should be getting rain all year long in, in uh, California because of all this weather that's being blocked. Look at this high pressure that's being permanently installed right there off the uh, west coast. This is why Lake Tahoe, the, the uh, water temperature in Lake Tahoe, 
is rising because it's just perpetual sunny skies most of the year all the time and and same thing with the ocean here this is another reason why the ocean temperatures are rising it's because of these weather wars that are going on i think that uh not only are the united states involved in uh controlling the weather certainly they have to control the weather uh from uh, there's a lot of things going on here not just a drought in california for uh financial means and, and uh, wall street profiteering but there are other other things going on so we have to keep that in mind i've been ranting the last several videos about how california is not getting any rain uh we do know that uh northern california got a lot of rain the, for instance uh, shasta reservoir has has been pretty much refilled that's all good news um if if that is if that statement is not accurate, I'd like the people up in Northern California to uh, correct that. But from what I've read and in, in the comments I've heard uh, on on this forum, that Northern California got plenty of rain uh, to help make up for some of this, you know, the last five year drought that we've had. Okay, let's look at the. Uh, so here we are back at the uh, water vapor loop. We can see what's happening, and that's clear manipulation of the jet stream flow. We have this square feature right there. Okay, let's look next at the, uh, this is the Hurricane Center map, National Hurricane Center. We can see Yvette here. 60 mile per hour winds moving west at 10 miles per hour. And the cone on that, uh, the track is pretty much westerly. And we'll keep an eye on that uh, through Tuesday out towards the Hawaiian Islands, which are up at 20 degrees up here along that line. So we'll keep an eye on what happens See if they run that over Hawaii again, just for, for kicks and, and dramatic effect. Last year, if you go back to my videos, uh, you'll see that every one of these hurricanes was steered around uh, the, the uh, Hawaiian Islands, every one of them. All right, here is the disturbance right over here, 50% chance of hurricane formation. This is actually the remnants of Earl that uh, we have. Uh, low pressure and thunderstorms down here and we have earl it's passed over uh, mexico right here kind of went to the sort of in a south southwest direction and back out into the uh, east pacific so we'll take a look at that here in a few minutes here's the western u.s water vapor loop we can see this very strange feature here it looks looks like we have a transmitter that is just plowing a path and moving just clearing a path We'll see a lot of strange returns on the pressure maps at uh, 500 and 300 millibar. We have that upper level low right here, which is stationary. That's not going anywhere for the time being. Here is the infrared loop. And we can see all this weather is going to be plowed out of the way. We'll have to see what happens. All right, here's the uh, East Pacific water vapor loop. We can see. Uh, uh, Yvette, which has a big blast pattern all the way around, they're hitting that storm with microwave, throttling it back to around 60 miles per hour. This would be a full-fledged hurricane, probably a major hurricane, if they stop uh, hitting that uh, hitting that storm with uh, energy, RF energy. Same thing with uh, what's left of Howard way over here. So we have uh, what's uh, was uh, formerly known as. Uh, Earl right here, reforming, and that will be Javier, according to the uh, Weather Channel. All right, here's the uh, visible light uh, loop for the uh, East Pacific. And we, we can, uh, <clears throat> of course, we see uh, Photoshopping uh, right there. And some Photoshopping right over here. These monsoonal thunderstorms are being systematically superheated and destroyed as they get near Arizona and California, mostly California. If it didn't get near California, it's zapped. And here's a great example. Here's the Southwest uh, water vapor loop. We can see that this little uh, cell right here is just immediately targeted once it gets right over the uh, uh, Californian Mexican border. This is the Colorado River and look at, they just zap it, it's gone. But yet we have all this thunderstorm activity here and down here, all through here. But the priority is over here, notice. 
priority over here is to maintain installed high pressure and if any kind of cells get into the uh, California area they zap them there's not much not much rain in California these days all right let's look at the uh, the rainbow map we can see a whole lot of thunderstorm uh, you know a lot of uh, water vapor here uh, and uh, thunderstorm activity based on the colors of those uh, cells deep red way over here on the right side of that scale and look at look at this this is just being wiped out bang we just we hit that right as it came over the border and it just uh, quickly within just three hours or so each one of these frames is a uh, is a one half hour uh, snapshot okay here is the uh the visible light mode and uh, we can see all the photoshopping let's just stop the uh this is all Photoshop, all here. Everything in here is Photoshop. So they, they are hiding their uh, microwave uh, attacks on these storms. We cannot see the detail. And so they resort to Photoshopping, uh, thinking that nobody will pay attention to that. They're color matching the uh, Photoshop pretty well tonight. Uh, let's keep going here. We have the pressure maps. This is, or rather, the jet stream, 300 millibar. Jet stream at 30,000 feet. We see uh, that flow up near the uh, Aleutian Islands, right up here near Alaska. And then we have uh, the upper level low right off of Washington State. All right, here's the uh, pressure map, sea level uh, pressure analysis for the uh, East Pacific. We have low pressure indicated all through here, upper that uh, upper level low is. And we have high pressure out here. Let's take a look next at the uh, 500 millibar map. We can see a lot of squiggly lines here. That would indicate varying degrees of high and low pressure on both sides. This is where that uh, transmitter appears to be plowing a, a clearing a path. If we go back and look at the water vapor map once again, uh, we can see, or rather, let's go back to this map. Much better. Right here. It looks like we have a transmitter right here just bulldozing all this out of the way. We have low pressure all through here, and these thunderstorms are trying to develop. And we have a transmitter, which looks like to me, this is exactly what they're doing. We've seen this before. We move this out of the way, they just push it out of the way. All right, so we go back to the map again, the uh, uh, 500 millibar, which is right here. And uh, we see these odd squiggly lines. Those are varying degrees of high and low pressure, which may indicate uh, a transmitter is forcing descending air, high pressure down into that uh, low pressure. All right, let's look at the uh, uh, the 500 millibar map, and we see the same thing. We have that upper level low. We see some squiggly returns. That would be at varying degrees of high and low pressure. And we have high pressure installed all down through here. We do have a low indicated right on the very southern area of Texas, uh, right near uh, Mexico. All right, and we have these lows, but nothing is getting into California because of all this high pressure. All right, let's look next uh, at the uh, East Pacific. This is where Earl is uh, passing through Mexico and spilling out into the uh, into the East Pacific. This looks like where Earl is sort of uh, concentrated right here, right there. So that is very violent. Uh, it's purple. That's the most. Uh, Tense right down here, and let's look at this in the, uh, the uh, rainbow map. We can see that uh, all this here is reforming. This will probably become a hurricane once again. And uh, here is the East Pacific. Now we can really see the photoshopping in this view. Let's take a quick look. I'm running out of time, but uh, look at this. They're hiding their work. This is pretty obvious, folks. Weather manipulation. They're trying to hide their work. Okay, very good. All right, well, that's the report for tonight, and we'll certainly do another update tomorrow, Saturday. Okay, that's it.